Let's start with a little story. Mohammed Siddiqui is the lone teacher of Islampur Katma Government Primary School who takes three classes simultaneously of three different levels. Well, she is the only teacher of the whole primary school holding 360 students alone. The chaos starts to merge as soon as she leaves one room and the quality of education starts to dissolve as well. Well, why don't we see students of the rural areas in higher studies as much as the students living in the urban region? The simple answer would be pretty obvious from the story, the lack of quality education, which is yet to be ensured in all terrains of the country. Now the question is, what is quality education? Quality education means teaching that does not only make the students acknowledge of the facts, but also ensure that they can decode that facts from the raw finding themselves. Quality education is one that focuses on the whole child's social, emotional, mental, and cognitive development of each student, regardless of the gender, race, ethnicity, and geographic location. And this lack of quality education creates the gap between urban and rural students and the completion rate starts to drop as well. There are some major problems in the way of achieving quality education. And one of them is lack of properly trained teachers. Six out of 10 government primary schools in Bangladesh are running with fewer than needed teachers. And of them, are, uh, of the 8,560 8, such institutions in hard to reach areas are facing acute shortage of educators. Final draft of Bangladesh Primary Education Annual Sector Performance Report 2017 shows that 8,564 8, government primary schools are facing acute teacher shortage as 79 of them are running with only one teacher, 721 with only two teachers, and 7,764 with just three teachers. So ensuring quality education seems to be a quite cumbersome task with this scenario. As a result, many students fall out of school as they go up the ladder. There is a huge scarcity of learning material in rural areas. Most of the time, they have to travel to cities uh, to buy books and other learning resources to facilitate themselves, which for most people in the rural region is a challenging expense to bear. 66 of rural schools do not have any science laboratory facilities, so they are unable to get equipped with practical knowledge too. As a result, they lag behind, of the, as a, lag behind those of the cities. Can you solve the problem? And the easiest answer is the internet. Seems a bit cliche answer, but however, the internet can be the most powerful thing that can bridge the gap between rural and urban sections of our country. It can ensure better tutoring and better resources all under the same umbrella. Internet comes with a flurry of resources that can facilitate the students with their needs, and it also helps to create a level playing field with the people living in urban region of our country, which was evident during the pandemic, uh, pandemic period when everything moved online. It did not matter if you lived in Dhaka City or in any part of our country like Rongpur. If you had the internet connection with you, you are basically on the par when it comes to getting resources and preparation. Study shows that students doing higher education uses the internet more, and, the, and this is for this purpose of education. So could encouraging younger students be, uh, to use the internet be a better option? Maybe, but the big magic lamp Paladin comes with its own problems. And the first problem is network connectivity. For a large part of our country, network connectivity is still an issue. Speed of the internet is not nearly satisfactory, uh, satisfactory, especially when it comes to online education. You need good internet for videos to watch to pull out resources or to conduct in online classes with a trained professional. And the second reason is internet can also be distracting sometimes. The flurry of content internet comes up with every minute is pretty easy for someone to fall into the rabbit hole. And it has been one of the biggest problems while using the internet. Sometimes it can bring you in its merry way and put you in the wrong side of the wall as a result, which can ultimately harm you more than what was to begin with. So how can we solve this? The first and the most useful solution to this problem would be increase of the connect con internet connectivity throughout the country. There should be more service providers available and the cost should be more economic. If we can do this, more internet providers will be interested in providing internet service to the people with less buying capabilities, which will cover more areas and hopefully our internet connectivity will also increase dramatically. And <clears throat> if we can provide good internet to the students in the rural areas, then there's another thing we need special, especially to focus on, and that is mentoring. Internet is big, so you need some light to know your way out. That is where the mentoring comes in. As experience for living on the internet for some while, I know how to search for education contents. I can solve my general queries on Quora. I can Google my search my way to Stack Exchange. I can understand my views with Khan Academy and sometimes with Onorokum Atala. But as a newbie, this is a bit tough because everything might feel a bit very overwhelming. So we'll, we'll mentor the students on how to use the internet, how to find the contents you need, and how to avoid the obvious bibliography. There are around 700,000 plus educational contents on YouTube in 2015. Then there is Coursera, Khan Academy, Tenmed Schools, Amadir Parchala, Crash Course, which has course ranging from physics to art to photography. The library is huge. And if we can empower the students with the internet and mentor them proper, with proper guidelines, we can achieve quality education, not only on some part of the time, but in all parts of the time. Thank you.